come together this sense they continue to play catch up and they'll never have a better chance of blasting apart an opposition Villarreal are missing some key players first goal in Real Colours was against Villarreal to Ronaldo and he put it back up to a goal again average he slipped just below that having not scored in midweek he's now managed 17 in 18 games he's slipping Incredible stars and into his Real Madrid career, has been some important goals along the way. I'm sure we come to a feature under him, starting for Villarreal tonight. Of course, three of them are known from the B team. Here is Cristiano Ronaldo, tries to square the ball. Kaká coming in, tidy defending. Alonso. Arbola, fixture in this team. Cristiano Ronaldo, the the signing from the English Premier League in the summer. Diara, the former Porti. And they have a chance this, in this match, but uh, if Real Madrid get an early goal, just don't know how the youngster's going to react. There is Cristiano Ronaldo. Triple step over, teasing the ball in. Maybe their priority is to get somebody to get on the end of those crosses from Ronaldo to give him a, a striking partner. Higuain ends up there tonight, Benzema. He is missing again. As Lonera in comparison, Barca at this moment in time are five points ahead of them in the Spanish standings. Ronaldo stopped, at least Ruben's inclusion on that left hand side is uh, almost a, a double team. Ronero curls it in. Lopez gets a, a slight touch. Sky by Matteo. It's good positive. Going down with a knock, see Diego Lopez. Mallorca did as well, but uh, Mallorca have lost this uh, weekend. Well, I guess that's up to the likes of Marco Ruben, wide on the left, David Fuster wide on the right. It's all Real Madrid at the moment. I find it difficult to break them down, but it, it appears to be inevitable that they will. Kaká, Osama Diara to Xavi Alonso, Cristiano Ronaldo, pack chasing after him, referee gives the advantage. And Marcelo taking it on the blind side. Oh, what a good... It's a great piece of goalkeeping, but fantastic cross on the pressure from Marcelo, good refereeing as well. Now on the advantage. Ronaldo caught by Captain Villa in full flight. So he just knocks it past the rail. Scored, uh, scored the opposition by 11 goals to one. There's four La Liga matches to play catch up with Barca. <laughs> Any space that Real Madrid can find. Arbeloa. Well, they're little slippers, they approach the 18 yard box, aren't they? They just haven't been able to find that real telling cross. Good one for Marcelo. Stitch tackled here to try and block the cross. And Marcelo got it in. And good clean pair of hands from Diego Lopez. Maybe the Galacticos, but one star shines brighter than any other in the all white strip. And it's this man, Cristiano Ronaldo. Three holes, his whistle. Besides that he was appended on this again. Ronaldo. It's a good distance. Cristiano Ronaldo. He gets the technique right, that wall will not bother him in the slightest. Diego Lopez fully aware of the ability that Ronaldo possesses. He gets the big builder from the supporters. Oh! That's why he's the costliest footballer on the planet. Just words cannot express. I mean, how can you stop that goal? The wall was set up well. Diego Lopez is in the right position. And he hasn't put any bend on it. He just, he's got this own unique technique that only he possesses. He drives through the ball. We've seen it on so many occasions.
the stunts, everything set up perfectly well. The power he generates and the movement on the ball. Look at the precision of that shot. It's just inside the post. Granero just makes a movement away from the edge of the wall. And leaves a tiny space and only Ronaldo can find it. Absolutely fantastic. It was a great moment there as the Spanish director rode in game this week against Wolfsburg. That was that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo missile. I'm not sure why Diego Lopez dived, Rob. And as soon as he left his boo, we could see it was like a missile into the top. Four. Two minutes and 13 seconds between the two goals of Cristiano Ronaldo. And possibly the only view he's ever going to get at that goal. <laughs> Marcelo, they're going for a quick second. Oh, there's a call for a penalty, which is answered by Senor Riff Fernandez. Kaká. 2 0 Real Madrid. Two goals in the space of. Three minutes kills him. Marcelo. Ronaldo. Marcelo again. Will you fear the worst for Villarreal? Ronaldo with the party tricks. You said it's a risky team, sir. Back in the, the late 80s. Marcelo. No offside. Higuain has stolen a yard or two. Marcano only half stops him. Plays it back. Ronaldo. He holds off the attentions of Marcano. Bides his time, lines it up for Ronaldo. Tries to go with the side foot to place it into the, the bottom left hand corner of Diego Lopez. In just over four matches, and that hurt him, didn't it? And he hasn't had to do anything tonight, Robbers. It's a set piece from 25 metres, and first time they've been in any sort of threat of scoring a goal. Ronaldo looking for his second of the game. Lopez stops it. Red button Olympiacos against Bordeaux. You'll find that on the red button Tuesday, seven o'clock, also. Wednesday, CSK Moscow against Spain's Sevilla. It's a five o'clock start, our coverage in HD on Sky Sports 1 and HD 1. She kept the video there, just catching the back of the ankle of Cristiano Ronaldo unintentionally. Well, he's worn those uh, yellow boots. On two occasions, leading the goal as well. I'm not sure if they got slightly complacent, but it was a foul from Kaka. Senna punished it with a wonderful goal. But why didn't they just revert and carry on playing in the same form that they had showed in the opening 25 minutes? Got them two goals. But, uh, <laughs> it's black boots for me and Jerry, I know that for sure. <laughs> Jerry's a hot man. <laughs> behind the goal in fine voice tonight. An attempt at a defence, but it passed by Ramos. Oh, look at that for a burst of determination from Ronaldo. Plays it back, oh, and that would have been... Of, uh, Real Madrid play, lovely ball from Ramos, drove it through the defence. An amazing run from Cristiano Ronaldo. Lovely layback as well. Any opportunity Ronaldo has to get involved in the game, and it wasn't a great... Higuain lets it go, Kaka was there. Form from Real Madrid in the last few minutes. Got the composure back, Ronaldo, Guanero, Higuain. I think the man is put more than Kano. Looking wide, DR intercepts. Higuain. Ronaldo. Always oh, screaming for this ball on this near side. They go through Kaka. Kaka, goalkeeper has to come and does enough. So just alter the focus of Real Madrid, but it's stolen back by Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes solo. Lopez to the rescue once more for Villarreal. What I do with my Rob is he thinks he's got a chance of getting the ball, and making a run towards goal, creating a chance for himself or a teammate. A big happy Venture all ends up there. Got there first. Ed. 
Paul Zinedine, obviously, he's been learning something off Cristiano in training. Here's the real deal. Mesmerizes defenders, checks it to Alonso. Diaba, and Casillas. Basketball type throw from the rail keeper. Ronaldo, the fans shuffle to the edge of their seats in anticipation. Now they can sit back comfortably and take it personally that he'd been finally beaten after almost four and a half games without conceding here. He's had 11 clean sheets and 15 home matches. Now the onus on Cristiano Ronaldo. Good cross from Ronaldo and... <laughs> a cross in. He's just dangerous in every position, whether he's on the right, whether he's wide on the left. Cristiano Ronaldo looking in the centre for somebody to make the move. So it's two banks of four, but it's one bank of eight that Real have to get through. Granero's cross. Ronaldo cushions it beautifully. Back flicks it. Nobody in particular. Uh, Abby Benta finds an escape route. Sergio Ramos. Asana Diara. Seeking and finding Cristiano Ronaldo. Works his way through what seemed to be an impossible gap. Interesting that Ronaldo has played almost exclusively on the right wing since. Exceptionally well read by Lasana Diada. Ronaldo checks himself on side. He has support, this should be the third for Real Madrid. The creation of Cristiano Ronaldo with a gloss finish of Higuain. And he's just involved in everything good that Real Madrid do. Great attacking play. It's a wonderful finish from Gonzalo Higuain. A sublime pass from our line to the path of Cristiano Ronaldo. Beats the offside trap. What I love about this cross from Ronaldo, it's first time, his awareness is great, but it doesn't leave the grass from Ronaldo's boot into Higuain, it doesn't leave the grass. Great football. Look at that pass. You see a wonderful pass from Arbeloa. The lines on the field prove that Ronaldo is onside. He's been one or two close calls today, but I think the pace of Ronaldo certainly gets the better of the assistant referee there. In terms of the only striker, we see are below a great pass down the flank for Ronaldo. We said earlier, Rob, didn't you, that he was taking up that position? An awful lot of time in the second half. Granero shoots as the cry. Granero gives it back to Kaka. Granero is in there. Cristiano Ronaldo plays it back down. Oh, that would have been. Bruno has moved into central defence now, a central midfield player. But a wonderful half. It paid dividends there. Route one from Real. At the sharp end is Cristiano Ronaldo, looking for his second of the game. He dances with the defenders. And it was uh, an attempt to guide him. Right down the middle, again beating that offside trap. And he tried to pretend to shoot. Kid on the heavy venter. Ramos for Real. Albior. There is the omnipresent Cristiano Ronaldo. Skips past Captiva. Weighs up the options. Decides that Marcelo was the best. Asana Diara inside. Here is Ronaldo onside. Little skip of the poots. A magical little flick. Circus football from the Portuguese star. Kaká. Xavi Alonso. Flip over the top. It's Ronaldo. Oh, it's a great stop. Yeah, Lopez does the splits to keep him out. Maybe not for long, though. Higuain. He likes a cack out, Ronaldo bearing down. Here we see better work from Diego Lopez. Saves it with his left foot from Cristiano Ronaldo, who should have scored. It was a great little prod through from, from Kaka over the years, particularly in his days at Arsenal. I remember he scored against England as well. Man for the big occasion. Now Real have to dust themselves down and bounce back and try to restore the two-goal advantage. Awesome, dreadful goalkeeping by Lopez. And he thanks his defenders for sparing him the embarrassment. 
There's a casual effort there from Diego Lopez. Kaka trying to find Cristiano Ronaldo at the far post. We can't be complacent. So beyond Villarreal, twice actually, twice they've been two goals behind. Twice they've edged their way back. Ronaldo on the plate to Kaka. Kaka looking for his second of the game. And... Kaka, Ronaldo, Marcelo overlaps. Great dash from Marcelo. Higuain's there, Higuain again. Ronaldo involved again, times the pass to Marcelo to perfection, who again lays it on a play for Gonzalo Higuain, who's in the right place at the right time, shows the necessary determination to get past Marco Senna, who's making a last-ditch tackle. But it's all about quality, good passing, good movement, quick football, and a predator. Souls to make a game of this. The Real Madrid have scored four tonight, that means now the level top scorers with Barcelona. That will matter to them. They'll want to get the fifth because they call it bragging rights. And they were certainly bragging. There's been no tinkering with the team. It almost feels as if he's got the formula now. Everything going through Cristiano Ronaldo. Like a good boy, he retrieves the ball. Just leaning offside. Oh, Real Madrid begins to spray the ball around now. Fresh legs of Van der Vaart, finds it at Cristiano Ronaldo. He's well marked by Musacchio. He makes his full debut, Musacchio, 13 months ago against Toll City. Ronaldo, lovely one tip, loses the defender. Higuain's waiting on the near side for his hat trick goal, but it's Kaka who gets his second and Real Madrid's fifth. He's just too quick for. Three out defence, Ronaldo gets the ball. A little give and go in Van der Vaart, runs across the edge of the box, plays it to Kaka, gets in between the two central defenders. Great composure, a relaxed, calm finish, a measured finish from Kaka. But a great understanding between these two players, getting better and better by the week. And they're a real force when it comes to attacking, playing out Real Madrid quick. Eager. David Beckham went for the flashlights and experience hold up. Ronaldo's through again. He has a little check at the linesman and the goalkeeper he puts it in for good measure. But it's all too good to be true for Cristiano Ronaldo. Are you sure? He says to the official with a flag. <laughs> because you know what? He was on the side. Listen, I've said it time and time again, Rob. These world-class strikers. That's how they make their living time in those runs. Villarreal beaten here yet again. It's an annual event for them. Cristiano Ronaldo steps over <laughs> and lost his own footing. I thought, I think the referee may as well when he sees a replay of that, Terry. Or was there a touch? There was a, a slight contact there from <laughs> Robert Pires. I'm sure if it wasn't 5 2. Actually, there is a trip from Pires there. Well, he left his foot in Pires, which was foolish. But was that not a delayed reaction from Cristiano Ronaldo? A league up goal it was actually six years ago. And there's a rail search now playing against Valencia. Real are going for their seventh. Ronaldo, a one-two with Real. Since Cristiano Ronaldo has uh, been the brains behind four of the goals, here is Ronaldo. He may be ahead of time. He may get a hat trick yet, Terry. He might be a visionary. Eight goals just been too much for him. Rob. <laughs> Some wonderful goals, free kicks, great open play. The goals, of course, that Barcelona has taken them to 59 for the season of the Spanish Championship. And they will go on to 56 points. It has been the Cristiano Ronaldo show. He has scored one goal.